how many sports in the world you know that they play so many loves as we do for the tactical reasons? Not that much, yes? Okay, I know that for many of you, the consideration of the loves is like a kind of boring thing, you know? It's kind of, you know, for beginners. No, the, the loves is for veterans, I don't know. Well, if you talk to the professional paddle players, the thing changes a little bit, yeah? At the time, they have to talk about and considerate one of the best shots to do in the sport of paddle, they will go straight away to the most important one, the lob. Without a doubt, the lob is one of the most important shots in the sport of paddle. Actually, I would say that a good decision making of the execution of the lob, it will be more offensive than defensive since will allow us to use these following tactical tips. Have a look. First, you will have enough time to stand in a right defensive position or even though if you want an offensive position for the next coming ball. Second is that you will manage the rhythm of the point. Yeah, you are in control of it. Also, this amazing, unique paddle shot in the sport of paddle will help you a lot to generate spaces in your opponent's net position. And the last two things which are very important is that you will get your opponents very tired because they will be running like a monkeys all around the court. But listen, of course, for all this situation, it will depend on the control you have to all of these shots. Anyway, believe me that if you manage it, your opponent will be very, very tired. And after 30 minutes of the match, they will be almost done. So if you're losing the first set in, in the match, yeah, no problem because, you know, perhaps if you're doing the correct shot selection for the loves, perhaps your opponents are running quite a lot and the second set becomes a little bit tighter and perhaps tie break, you win the set and then in the third set you go for it because they will be already tired because your loves are different level. One more tip I want to give you is the tactical situation that will allow you, yeah, will give you the possibility of counter-attacking after the shot of bandeja or an overpowered bandeja that gives you the high rebound of the bangle, allow you to go forward and so, boom, gain the net position. For the technique of the shot, lob in the sport of paddle, it's very simple, but there are some concepts that must be learned. For example, let's say that the paddle bat has to be open up, yes, and our elbow has to be close to our body. We cannot hit a lob from far away from us, yeah, like this. So keep your elbow close to your body to control the shot much more. And also prepare the paddle bat below the ball as we want to hit the ball from low to high. Another tip for the technique of this shot is to impact the ball with a flat shot from low to high. Give a long finish into the shot, accompanying the trajectory of the ball. Give also to the swing you generate with your paddle bat a straight path from the preparation to the impact with the ball and the follow through in a straight line. Yeah, remember that is nice. Yeah, you impact the ball and you carry on with the shot. Play flat because it's better. All these little tips will help you a lot to control your lobs. Now let's get a little bit deeper into the execution of the shot. And there is something which is crucial. Don't hit the balls with the spin. Hit the ball flatter, yeah? Flat shot to hit the lobs. And I will show you why. First, let's say side spin is the last thing you want since you will lose complete control of the ball. The top spin doesn't work neither. First, because perhaps you are changing the spin that the ball brings. And second, because it will cause a greater backspin rebound of your opponent's back wall, and that backspin gives them the great chance to control their height, speed, spin, and everything. So they will go for a winner and you gain troubles. And the last tip for this video is not to use your wrist excessively, yeah? Don't use it that much because you will lose complete control of the shot. Better, use your knees bent to generate a proper height to the lob. In the next video coachings, we're gonna talk about the height of the lobs, if we are playing indoors and outdoors, if we are playing against two players who are playing a very good bandejas or winner's matches, if you're playing against, you know, ex-professional tennis players, all these little tips we will talk about in the, some other video coachings. But have a look on all these video coaching that we've been talking about the lobs, because it's very important to you to understand this, because it's one of the most important shots in the sport of paddle. Thanks for watching. It's another video of Hello Paddle Academy. See you in the next video lesson.